Here is the Grand Mogul in the replica that I have cut. It's not a very uh, bright performing gem, probably not in the original either because of the lack of crown facets and the flat top that doesn't get the broken light. In the original it weighed about 793 carats and then was cut down to 280 carats by an Italian faceter by the name of Hortensio Borgio. He cut almost two-thirds of the stone away to remove some flaws and the Shah who owned the stone was so angry he refused to pay Borgio and fined him 10,000 rupees. When a dear Shah looted the Delhi treasury in 1739 he took the great mogul back to Persia where it was stolen in the great uh, jewel robbery of 1747. It's believed that it was broken up to avoid detection and recut into other smaller stones. So it no longer exists, but you can see the rows and rows and rows of facets. It looks complicated, but quite frankly on a calibrated jam peg it's a rather simple uh, replica to cut, despite its great size. To cut the Grand Mogul, probably the most famous and largest diamond ever discovered before the discovery of the Excelsior uh, in the Cullinane, uh, is not a difficult uh, fastening assignment with a jam peg. It requires 60 addresses to put in the rows of facets all the way around. I have a 30 index gear here, so what I did is I used the notches, but I also used the little lip or space between the notches, hence it gave me a 60 notch index gear and I could go right ahead. I'm finishing up the polishing right now. It was a huge stone. Uh, and finished in the original diamond weight was 280 carats. It measures about 40 uh, millimeters across in diameter. It's a little over 35 millimeters in height. Tavernier, the great gem historian, once described it as an egg cut in half. It's a huge gem, uh, probably too large for anybody but a monarch to wear. And what I'm doing is putting the finishing touches here. As you can see, even with a little six inch wheel and a jam peg, uh, the calibrated jam peg is still capable of handling a massive gemstone, one far larger than a person would probably wear in costume jewelry or something like that. But here, it was just a matter of setting it up. You can see the top row here, and then moving down each one of the calibered and calibrated steps until I had exactly what I wanted in the way of the stone. This is an exact replica of the famous Grand Mogul, a stone of origin in India, in the Galakonda mines.